morning guys well there it is I bought a Lemkin Rubin 10 speed disc to replace that old Athens disc so I ran it a little bit yesterday to get things set and uh, pretty happy with it so I'm gonna go run it on some clover today and um, I'll show you that I don't really like to tear up the clover um, yet this fall. I know there are some guys that do chisel plow or um, disc some clover just to get it buried and uh, incorporated so next spring goes easier. But with this, I think next spring will go just fine, um, just like this past spring. So I'm just going to do a little bit, see how it works out. If there are things I need to tweak, on it um, I kind of know for next spring so I don't have to spend time doing that I can get the bugs worked out this fall so I'm still getting this thing figured out and uh, just going through it still trying to understand everything and, and get things figured out this front cylinder here will raise and lower the front of the machine if you have a different setting um, your hitch on different tractors the hitch is going to be either higher or lower depending on you know what tractor you have again this is a european um you know made in germany i think so they run bigger tires than or wider i don't know if they're any higher or not but um just different i guess um helps you fine tune the machine that can also, I don't have it raised up all the way. Um, and then that indicator right there kind of shows you where you're at. But you can raise this, you can raise those discs in the machine way up off the ground um, if you're going through a ditch or something like that. Um, the other purpose for that is, well, that's to level the machine, I guess. Um, Usually you have like a manual turnbuckle or something on equipment that you have to manually uh, hand turn it to get the machine running level. That is hydraulic, but it also, um, I guess first let me say that you set the depth with these hydraulic cylinders. I think there are four of them. Um, and all the weight is on the rollers and on the hitch. So you set the depth with that on the back here, and then you level the machine with that um, front cylinder. So it, it does serve a couple different purposes to level the machine and also, um, you know, to raise it up. Still trying to figure out um, everything and these wheels when it's running the wheels are completely off the ground they're not even on the ground so um, all the weight is right there um, running on the rollers and the hitch so what led me to buy this Lemkin um, over other speed discs that I demoed was these blades are you can see them there. They're concave discs. They're also angled, I think 17 degrees, if I remember right, and then 20 degrees this way to the ground. Um, and they, they do a really good job. What I had trouble with on the speed discs that I demoed um, earlier this year was the soil that would come off of these discs and would run to the next one, if I was running in clover or something like that, it would actually pass right beside and, and it wasn't even worked. Now those speed discs, the American style ones, they work just fine for bean stubble, corn stalks, whatever, but you start doing cover crops and you've got all that root mass and it it just, it, like I said, it would come off this one 
and it would just pass right beside it. Well, these, it's it works it from, I mean, from right there to that point to this point. It, I mean, there's there's nothing that's unworked, at least on the bean stubble that I ran yesterday. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna try it in the clover and see how that does. Hopefully, um, I get the results that I want because. I bought this machine. Um, I couldn't get a demo, but uh, that is why I'm showing you this on the video so that um, anybody who's interested in this has a firsthand uh, look at it. Okay, I'll show you what's going on back here. Um, clover's not, it's not super thick, but it's thick enough that I feel like it's doing a really good job. These discs are uprooting it. going to the second set back there you need speed for this to work so the faster you can pull it the better it is I'll show you real quick again like I said earlier you need speed because all this is intact this is when I was just slowing down here so you got to have the speed to pull all this out get back here where I had some speed and again I said as I said the clover wasn't that thick but it it's uprooted everything Oh, there's a little bit that's not so okay you've got some that that's still intact but for the most part this is done more in one pass than the pro till or the quick till that I demoed I don't know that I would want to plant right into this um, I'm gonna go back over it and try a second pass and see what that looks like but I'm pretty pleased with it. It's it's doing a good job. 
one thing that I see that I would change is now I don't know how they do the stuff in Europe and height requirements all that but if you're gonna have this this blade out here and remember this folds up so it's at the top but if you're gonna have that disc blade out here why not run the rollers right there that would make sure that everything gets crumbled along the outside and it's the very same on this side so I'll talk about these a little bit these are just rebound harrows the soil that comes up from the blades hits that and then falls down and then gets picked up again same back here only these have these uh, fins on them that direct soil flow I don't really know how well they work I haven't played with them enough they seem to do a pretty good job but this is a wear point if you have it down on the ground so that's one thing that I'm not super excited about you can uh, just rotate that and and it'll pull those up or, or put them down um, everything's really hand adjust on this which is nice as far as the rebound harrows this is the second pass I'll just show you again what it looks like under here the second time through all that mixing going on back here You can see a little bit more um, how this is kind of directing the soil flow a little bit. It's bunched up a little bit right before it gets here and then these are just kind of knocking it back. Two things I forgot to mention. Uh, I'm going about three inches deep and that's a pretty good depth for me. I don't want to go real deep uh, but two inches is just a little too shallow three seems to be about the sweet spot and that's a 20 foot machine I don't think I said that uh, any other videos so that's a 20 foot machine they make a 23 foot in that configuration uh, when you get larger than that it goes to a different carrier system uh, I thought about I had a chance to uh, look at one that was on that carrier system. Uh, ended up just going with this 20 foot right now for the acres that I have. So for the most part, um, this is gonna be a two pass system, mainly because uh, what I'm gonna do is work it and then wait about two weeks, uh, let all this green material decompose and then come back in with that and hit it again right before I plant so um, it's not really gonna be well I may I may try um, working it right in front of the planter um, incorporating all this working it right in front of the planter and planting but for the most part it's gonna be like I said work it wait two weeks work it again plant but that is a I mean I know this is fall time so spring might be a little different but I'm pretty excited about this finish you've got a hundred percent kill I say that and I find another one 
but I'm not too worried about one or two every so often. It would be really hard to take a cover crop like this and do it in one pass and plant. Um, it's probably always going to be somewhat of a two pass system regardless of whether you wait two weeks or not. I just did uh, three passes there on the clover uh, just to see how it would work and show you guys. Uh, I'd like to go do some corn stalks now and uh, probably just do a couple rounds there but uh, it's supposed to rain here in a little bit so hopefully I can get it done uh, before it rains. what's going on back here I had to set it just a little bit deeper um, we're pretty dry here right now so um, it could be just you know because the grounds dry um, if it was more moist it'd probably suck it in a little bit more I don't think that this is going to be a one pass uh, system on corn stalks either. Um, it's definitely not a vertical tillage tool. It just doesn't work like vertical tillage. It's doing a good job burying the stalks. Still going about that uh, three, maybe closer to four inches. Yeah, closer to four maybe. So I'm not sure if I can do the corn stalks after organic corn and, um, and then plant cereal rye. I don't know if I can do that in one pass, but uh, running, well right now I'm running about eight mile an hour. That's all that tractor can pull. Uh, we'll put this on the track tractor and you should be able to run 10 with it. So if you're running 10 mile an hour, it doesn't take long to cover acres. I may run over it a second time just to see what it looks like. It's starting to sprinkle here, so I'm going to make this quick. Uh, just wanted to show you second pass over. It really buries at this time. Sizes everything up. So, like I said, I'm not sure, you know, one pass, if it's gonna do everything that I want it to do. But definitely two passes will work. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully I made it interesting. You learned a little bit more about the Lemkin. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.